By 2036, pensioners may no longer reap the benefits of their SNIT contributions. That's according to the International Labour Organization. Now, this follows the investigations conducted by the ILO on the long-term financial indicating a point where the scheme can no longer sustain itself without additional funding. A lack of reserve will only mean one thing, that SNIT will have no other choice than to use all SNIT contributions to pay benefits of pensioners after 2036. The latest findings have raised concerns amongst members of the public. I don't think this will be helpful um, to the SNIT contributors because me, for instance, um, I'm a young guy, and definitely as time goes by, I'm aging. I wouldn't want to be in a situation whereby I'll pay my SNIT for over all these years, and by the time I get to um, 70, 80, I'll later find out that uh, I'll know I'm not going to reap my benefits. If we are making contributions, and then when it's time for us to actually withdraw, there would be no money then it actually tells that there's been a lot of economic mismanagement in the country at the moment. I know initially when SNIT was established, they were doing very capital investments in terms of building SNIT estates and then renting it out. If they can go back to the very basics and then reinvest properly, I have a feeling that this proposed um, chaos in 2036 may not actually happen. For now, the International Labour Organization is recommending adjustments such as increasing contribution rates to ensure that the scheme remains viable in the long term. The compliance of SNIT with the regulations is expected to be determined in the coming days. Judith Brown, TV3 News.